Welcome to this channel. In this particular tutorial, we will perform the digital circuit simulation using KiCad tool. We will analyze the NAND gate simulation with digital gates described at transistor level. If you like this particular tutorial, request you to subscribe to my channel below for more such videos. Now we have to create a new project. So let this particular file name be logic underscore gate underscore NAND and save this. Now double click on this particular schematic. So the schematic window or the schematic editor appears. Now click on add a symbol and this particular library loads. Now the global library appears and in the filter we have to search for 74HC00 so which is a NAND gate which is a 2 input NAND gate. So place this particular 2 input NAND gate on the schematic window and click escape. Now place the cursor on the schematic and we have to select unit E which would define the VCC and the ground terminal for 74HC00 to input NAND gate. So place this on the schematic window. Next click on add symbol and we have to type piecewise. So we have to select the voltage source and place the voltage source on the schematic window. So we require two voltage source which would act as a pulse. So we would define 0 and 1 as an input using the pulse. Now place the third voltage source on the schematic window. Right click on that click on properties and define the reference as VCC and define the value as 5 volt. Next click on add global label and define the label as VCC and place this particular label in order to rotate use the R button on the keyboard. Now click on add a power port and in the filter type ground and place this particular ground connection on the schematic window. Now click on wire and connect the global label VCC to pin number 14 and connect the global label VCC to pin number 1 of the voltage source and the terminal 2 is connected to the ground and the terminal 7 of 74HCCIC is connected to the ground. Next right click click on property define the reference as U1 and click OK. Now click on add a power port select the ground and place this particular ground connection on the schematic window. Now click on wire, connect the terminal 2 of voltage source to the ground and the terminal 2 of the second voltage source to the ground. Now connect the terminal 1 of 74HC00 to the voltage source the terminal 1 as, a, as well as terminal 2. Now right click on the voltage source define the reference as V in 1 and define the value as 0 and click on edit spice model and define the pulse initial value as 0 pulsed value as 5 volt delay time as 2 micro rise time as 10 nano fall time as 10 nano pulse width which is 2 
micro second and period for micro second and click OK. Similarly, right click on the second voltage source, click on property, define the reference as V into, define the value as 0, click on spice model, select pulse, define the initial value as 0, pulse value as 5, delay as 2 micro, erase time as 10 nano, fall time as 10 nano, pulse width 2 micro, period 4 microsecond and click OK. Now we have to define the model for our NAND gate. So right click, select property, define the reference as U1, click on spice model, select model, select file and double click on the models and select this 74H CNG. So this is a transistor level based model for the digital circuit and select the alternate node sequence as 1, 2, 3, 14 and 7 and click OK. Now the model has been defined. Now what we need to do is that we have to place a label for ground as well as the input. So place the label as 0 on all the ground connection. Now place the label in 1 which is input 1 on terminal 1 and place the label in 2 which is input 2 on the terminal 2 and place the label out across the terminal 3. Now we have to perform the transient analysis so we need to place the spice analysis syntax so type dot ran 1 nano and 8 microsecond and click ok and place this on the schematic window now save this particular circuit now click on inspect click on simulator click on run and stop simulation click on add symbol and place the probe across the both the inputs now you can see the input so go to add signal and add input 1 which is 0 and 1 and input 2 again which is similar now let us analyze this so we know the truth table of the NAND gate so when it is 0 and 0, output is 1. When it is 1 and 1, output is 0. So let us go back and add the signal. Add the output signal. And select V out. Now, for 0 and 0, it is 1. And for 1 and 1, it is 0. So we have analyzed the NAND gate simulation using KCAD. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.